In this video, we'll be looking at the unit circle. For more videos about this section on trigonometry, visit parkermaths.com forward slash y1 trig. Before we do anything with the unit circle, I'd first like to look at a right angle triangle with a hypotenuse of length one. We'll label the base of the triangle X and the height of the triangle Y. And we can find the values of X and Y using basic trigonometry. To find X, we're using the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So we can say that cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse X over one, which means that X equals cos theta. We can do a similar thing for Y. Y is the opposite in this triangle and one is the hypotenuse. Opposite in a hypotenuse tells us to use sine. So sine theta is Y over one, which simplifies to Y equals sine theta. So let's replace X and Y in our triangle with cos theta and sine theta. And the key fact that I want you to take away from this example is that the distance across here is given by cos theta. So cos theta is essentially how far have we traveled in the X direction. And sine theta is the height of this triangle. We could think of that as how far have we traveled in the Y direction. So let's take these ideas and look at the unit circle. By unit circle, we simply mean a circle of radius one with its center at the origin. So it would look something like this, where we have a circle and a radius of length one. I'm going to mark an angle theta onto this unit circle, which takes me from the positive eye direction to the radius that I've drawn. And the convention when we're working with the unit circle and in many other areas of maths is that we measure angles anti-clockwise from the positive X direction. We can take this radius and turn it into a right angle triangle. And as we saw moments ago, the base of this triangle, the distance moved in the X direction is cos theta. And the height of this triangle, the distance moved in the Y direction is sine theta. And this allows us to extend our definition of cos theta and sine theta. Because if we take the point on the circle at the end of the radius, the coordinates of that point are cos theta, sine theta, because cos theta is the distance we went in the X direction and sine theta is the difference we went in the Y direction. And so rather than thinking of cos theta and sine theta in terms of sides in a right angle triangle, we can think of them as the X coordinate and Y coordinate of a point on the unit circle. And that's great because it allows us to extend our understanding of what we mean by cos theta and sine theta to angles beyond the region zero to 90 degrees. And that's what we're going to be looking at in the next few examples.